Man, oh man, what's up, YouTube family? It's the one and only Terry D. I truly wish, man, I truly wish that I can teach this skill to everybody, man. I'm getting so good and I'm just so blessed. You know, I, I can't make this stuff up, guys. Cannot make this stuff up. I am on fire, okay? Let me go to my signal group. Like I say, I like to do this because this is more proof. This is showing what I'm talking about. I'm not just making this stuff up. I'm not just telling you that I'm doing something that I'm not doing. Guys, I am doing this in real life. I am making $200, $100 to $200 every single day. And all I'm doing, which I'm going to show you, is using the moving averages and using the news and using support and resistance, y'all. So, again, let's go here. So, this trade paid out. Euro USD played out today. A U USD played out today, and these these two from from yesterday played out. Guys, I'm four zero this week. I am literally, literally, just doing stuff like this. Account is at thirteen hundred. Okay, I'm not gonna make this video too long. I'm gonna make it real quick, short and sweet. So, how did I know to place this trade when to place it? Okay, I need to start uh, recording. Whenever it's actually happening in action. But how did I know? Okay. So this. I used the, the uh, 200 MA on M15 as a support line. You can use these moving averages as support line, guys. So this is this would be my support right here. I knew once this rejected off the 200, this will continue to go up. Okay. That's simple. So I came down to M15. I seen... That was at the support. It came to H1. It seemed that it was at the 50 EMA. And since this has kind of been respecting the 20 EMA. It broke it. And I was like man. It's more than likely not going to break the 50. Because on M15. It's at the 200. And it didn't break the 200. So rule of thumb. If it breaks the 200 on M15. Then it's going to break the 50 on H1. Okay. And this actually go to H4. Because H4 is really where I get a lot of my indications. So if you guys been following me. You guys been paying attention. When anytime the 20 crosses the 200. Or the 50. Okay. First it crosses the 50. Then it crosses the 200. Anytime that happens. The market shoots up, okay? Vice versa, if the 20 goes down and crosses the 50 in the 200, the market is going to come down. But since I've seen this moving average cross the 200, I knew that this was going to be buy time. And you can literally hold this trade, right? You might get some retracement. The market does have to retrace. But guys, I literally just watched these moving averages. I see this resistance zone here. There's a support zone here. And it just lets me know when to buy and sell. And I get in and get out. I get 5 to 10 pips. Because I, like I said, I use the moving averages as a support zone. I use the moving averages as a bounce zone. And I also do it on USEJPY. On H4. Hold on. Go back. So this 20 is about to cross the 50. You know what that means, right? That means you can sell. Because by the end of the week, more than likely... All three of these moving averages are probably going to touch. And USDJP watch going to probably come down to the support zone here. Okay. But that's literally all I'm doing, y'all. I'm on fire. And the reason why I'm on fire because I know that the U.S. is, is kind of weak right now. So since the U.S. is weak, um, I am I am trading EURUSD, USDJPY, GBPUSD. I mean, just look at these, guys. Look at these. So you see, look, GB, G right now. G right now. I broke through my resistance zone. It's probably more than likely going to continue to go up. So, I mean, if the U.S. is weak, guys, if the U.S. is weak, then it's going to drag down GBP USD. Or, I, I said that wrong. If the U.S. is weak, yeah, it's going to try to drag it down. But since the Great Britain is more strong, the, mo the most strongest currency pair, it's going to continue to go up. So since the U.S. is weak, that's good for the Great Britain currencies, which is the GBP currencies. That means it's going to continue to go up. It's going to be a bullish trend. Same thing with your USD. Since the U.S. dollar is weak, since the U.S. dollar is weak, <clears throat> it's going to go to a bullish trend. Okay, 
Guys, it happens across the platform. Let's go AUD USD. Same thing. Since the US this week, AUD is going to be a bullish trend. Guys, it does this all the time. If the US is weak and you're trading Euro, Euro USD, GBP USD, AU USD, and, 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 and the US is weak, okay? I'm saying this a lot because I want you guys to get this and understand. You're trading currency pairs. So if the U.S. dollar is weak and you're trading Europe, GBP, AUD, anything that has USD as the second currency, okay, it's going to try to drag it down. But since it's weak, the other currency that's in the front run, meaning the AUD, Euro, Euro USD, GBP USD are going to be strong. So Europe is going to be stronger, AUD is going to be stronger, GBP is going to be stronger because the U.S. dollar is weak. Keep that in mind when you're trading in these markets. And that's all I'm doing, y'all. I'm just trading currency pairs. I'm watching the moving averages. I'm watching the support and resistance. And I don't even look at the RSI. I do look at the RSI sometimes, so get me wrong. But that's all I'm doing. So stay tuned. I'm going to be doing more videos like this. I just want to keep you motivated. Keep trading. And I promise you, I wish I could teach this to everybody, man. Just click the link and let's get started today. Don't wait. Let's go.